Yeah, Yanni, it's pretty incredible that Providence almost beat two projected possible number one seeds. They had the ball in their hands with the chance to do it. Uh, couldn't quite get it done. You outlined Mikhail Bridges, 25 points. He and Jalen Brunson both shot better than 50% from three. That was a big dagger stat, if you will, for Providence. And the Friars just simply couldn't win their third straight overtime game. We grew up in this tournament. We really did. A lot of players stepped up to the challenge on the big stage. Um, we made plays. We made winning plays. We made timely plays. Um, I'm proud of our young men. I really saw us grow up in a short period of time, and I thought this tournament brought out the best in us. We came far um, as a team. Uh, our seniors, they've had our back since the start, and we just had to repay them. And we came up short today. And in Jay Wright, Villanova head coach Jay Wright's post-game press conference, he said he didn't even see uh, that Ed Cooley was wearing a towel to cover up his ripped pants. He was just coaching so hard. He did guarantee he would go back and check out the video. As for Providence, despite their temperament post-game, they will play in the NCAA tournament next week. So they got to gear up for that, and they will. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden, Mark Dondero, Eyewitness Sports.